let us uh, rearrange this equation to make P the subject. Okay, the first question is Q is equal to square root of 2P minus 3. Now, in any example or in any problem of rearranging and making subject, the first thing that you do is to isolate the, the letter that you want to make the subject. So here we want to make P the subject. Now, P is sitting inside the square root. So the first thing that I need to do is I want to get rid of the square root. Now, square and square root are opposite of each other. So if I do the square root of this side, square and square root cancel each other out. So let me write like this, squaring both sides. I want to get rid of the square root. So I'm going to square, or I'm going to, this is the first step, squaring both sides. Okay, so what will happen? This will be Q the whole squared is equal to is equal to square root of 2P minus 3 the whole squared. So I'm squaring both sides. So this becomes Q squared is equal to now, square and square root are opposite of each other, as I told you. So, this will become 2p minus 3, just like that. Okay. Now, what will happen? Now, I want to isolate the p on the right-hand side. So, I want to get rid of this negative 3. So, I'm going to add 3 to this side. So, to add 3 to this side. So, these are two sides of the equation. So, what will happen? This and this gets cancelled. So, this is... I can write q squared plus 3 is equal to 2p. So this is same as, let me write it with respect to p. So 2p is equal to q squared plus 3. q squared plus 3. Now I want to get rid of this 2. So this is multiplied by, this is 2 times p. So to get rid of that 2 times p, I have to divide both sides by 2. So I'm writing the next step like this. So 2p over 2 is equal to q squared plus 3 over 2. So this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So what remains is uh, p that is want. p is equal to q squared plus 3 over 2. And this is perfectly fine. Okay. Now if you want to simplify this a bit further, this is right, completely right. So this, to simplify this a little further, P is equal to, P is equal to, um, I can distribute this to, so this is nothing but half of Q squared plus 3 over 2, plus 3 over 2. So P uh, in a different, this and this are the same, so half is nothing but 0.5q squared plus 1.5. 3 over 2 is 1.5. So this is P as the subject of this given equation. Okay, let us look at one more equation. 2q plus 3 is equal to q minus 2, the whole q minus 2. Okay. Sorry, p minus 2. So the same thing, I'm going to square both sides. So this is phi q plus 3, the whole squared, is equal to square root of p minus 2, the whole squared. So this, I'm not expanding this. I'll leave this as q phi q plus 3, the whole squared. And square and square root are opposite of each other, so they cancel cancel each other out. Okay. Or uh, those now for those uh, if you want to understand why this just to explain this can also be written as p minus two to the power half. Those who learn fractional indices, square root of p minus two the whole square is nothing but p minus two to the power half. To the power 2 just to explain so this is nothing but 5q plus 3 the whole squared 
and what do you do with the power of power? So you have to multiply this. So this is P plus 2 half times 2. So this becomes phi Q plus 3. The whole squared is equal to P plus 2. Because half times 2 is nothing but 1. So this one this gets cancelled. And now you can take out take away 2 from both sides. If you take away 2 from this side, you have to take away 2 from this side. So, finally, we can write the answer that uh, this is nothing but 5q plus 3, the whole squared, minus 2 is equal to p, is equal to, <clears throat> hmm, is equal to p. So which implies, so writing with respect to P, so P as a subject is 5Q plus 3, the whole squared minus 2. So let us simplify this a little further. So, only, so this is expanding this, so this is 5Q plus 3 times 5Q plus 3 minus 2, so which is 5q times 5q is 25q squared. 5q times 3 is 15q. 3 times 5q is again 15q. And 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2. So finally, the most simplified form is p is equal to 25q squared. This is 15q plus 15q is 30q plus 7 minus 2 is, 9 minus 2 is 7. So this is your final answer of making P the subject of the formula.